So I was looking for some more brain rot to talk about, and I was going to check out D-Storm Power's channel. Now, for those of you who don't remember D-Storm Power, he's an old Vine creator who I'm sure had to find a different niche when he was kicked off of Vine because the app shut down. Well, I was downloading just random videos, like starting from the very top of his TikTok page and going down, and I was going to cover his brain rot, and trust me, I am still going to. That might be a secondary video, like the video after this one, but I came across a video where somebody went onto his live stream and said the N-word. His exact phrase was F all black gentlemen. Let's just say that. And D-Storm made a call to action, and I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. Because I'm a free speech absolutist, but at the same time, you know, I don't know how I don't know how I feel about this. I don't. So let's take a listen to this video. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cover it and uh, show you the uh, the aftermath, or not the aftermath, because I don't know the aftermath. But we're gonna show you what D Storm says after the clip is played. Roll it. What's up, TikTok? I want you to do what you do best and find this guy. What's up? I just want to say, everybody, be happy. I wanted to shout out my boy, Devin. He's in the stream, in the live. He's sharing the live out. I want everybody to have a good day and fuck off. For blatantly obvious reasons, I cut that part out where he drops the N-bomb, but he says it. He says it. Um, and here's where D-Storm talks about what happened. And again, I want to, I want to preface, I don't agree with the dude doing this. I do not condone what he did. I don't like what he did. I don't I don't think what he did was okay. But still, I don't necessarily think I agree with D-Storm in this instance either. It it's very very much a what would you do in this situation? Ah, oh, look at him just being as racist as he wants to be. Logan Vasquez just ruined his career, y'all. Go put that on TikTok. Why would you come in here and ruin your career, man? You had a bright future. Now, I've been going live on TikTok for a little over a month now so I could connect with my fans and supporters in a more intimate way. Because, like, you see comments, but you can't really have those in-depth conversations on the content side. So I go to the live side. And when I'm there, I allow people to come in and share the platform and say what's up, and for the most part, like 90% of the time, it's positive. But every once in a while, you get an asshole. And every day I'm there, I'm in a good mood, good energy, spreading positivity, trying to give advice to people so then they can be great. I know this is a little bit more of a serious video, but I'm sorry, y'all. If you're looking for advice or wanting to be great from a dude who makes a skit like this. You're too superficial, bro. I'm telling you, chicks don't care about that. All right, let's see. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Day storm. Leia, nice to meet you. Good. Hey, you think I can get your call sometime? Yeah, but you know what? My phone just died, sorry. But I can put my number in yours. Oh, you got a phone? Hey, yo, you think I can use your phone to get her number? Oh, actually, my wife calling. Baby. Hey, bro, you got a pen? What's that? Oh, that's my, um, it's my phone. But, you know, like, hey, you can put your number in my phone. Oh, no, it's okay. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, love you, baby. Told you. Yeah, but it got snaked, though, bro. See? It's indestructible. Then I'm sorry. I would probably advise you to take advice from Andrew Tate before... No, no, no. No, no. That's a little bit too far. That's a little bit too far. But I would pick any other person, influencer-type person, before D-Storm, because all he does is post brain rot like that it's the same type of brain rot that i found funny back when vine was around and i'm 31 now i'm 31 now so <laughs> let's continue with the original video and then you come to my platform and do this we're gonna find this motherfucker and make his life a lot more bumpier than he thought it would be i appreciate you we're gonna find this mofo and make his life a lot more bumpy than it needed to be that's my problem. That's my whole issue with this video. Is the, we're going to locate him. We're going to find his location. We're going to find this person. We're going to find out who he is, what he is, what he is about. And we're going to make sure his life is a living hell. All because he decided to be racist towards me. D-Storm has millions of followers. Millions. Now, was it this dude's 
problem to come onto his platform and be blatantly racist. Of course it was. Of course it was. I don't condone that for a second. I am half black myself. I don't condone it. But at the same time, you, when you dox people, I'm not suggesting that he's do, do, actually no. I kind of am suggesting that he's doxing him. When you allegedly want to dox somebody, let us say allegedly. So I don't. If he finds this video, I don't get in any trouble. But when you allegedly have a call to arms to dox somebody, you're not only harming that person, you're harming their family, their friends their loved ones, people that may not even know he did this thing, and you are putting them in danger as well. If he has kids, you're harming his kids. If you're, if you're, you hurt a lot of people when you decide to do a call to action like this. And, and this was a call to action. Whether it was an alleged doxing call to action, that's, that's yet to be seen. But when you do a call to action like this, you are most certainly... You are most certainly going to be causing a lot more harm to other people than just him. I'm sorry, that's just a fact of life. Because you've, I don't like to say the whole, you're responsible for what your fans do thing. But I'm sorry, when you do crap like this, when you have these alleged call to actions like this, and you are a big content creator, this is one of the few times where I'm like, no, you are responsible for in, in part of what your fans do if this person ever gets hurt um, physically, if their family members get hurt physically, if, if anything happens to them, you are responsible. And so this is why I am kind of not okay with this. I'm not okay with this at all. Um, because it's a disgusting abuse of your power. It just is. It's not like that conservative chick who decided to be blatantly racist, consider it to be a joke, and, and then get fired from her job. I don't necessarily like that either, but at the same time, she put herself out there as wanting to be an influencer and crap like that, and she doubled down on her stuff and, and things of that nature, um, and, and her job just caught wind of it. I don't think anybody like located her personal information, like her address or anything. But you're wanting to know this person's first name, this person's last name, all this other information that was not made public, and, and that to me is just a disgusting abuse of power. I just, I, just, I don't. It does not sit right with me. That's ratchet. You could be causing more damage to him than he did to you by calling you the N word. No, it's not acceptable for him to do that shit. But again, it's not acceptable for you to want to, quote, make his life bumpier. You never elaborate as to what that means. So I I'm sorry. I don't agree with what this what this boy did. And I do not throw away throw around the word racism lightly. But this dude is a legitimate racist. Because there's nothing funny about that. It was just flat out full blown racism. Just like the conservative chick just dropping the N bomb and, and doubling down on it. Um, but D Storm is abusing his power. Full stop. Full stop. This is an alleged call to action to dox this person. And I don't like it. As somebody who's been doxed about six times, I don't like it and I don't approve of it. It's a, it's a disturbing, disgusting situation. So, yeah, shame on you, D Storm. Shame on you. Should never happen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Like, share, do all that stuff if you liked it. Take care of yourselves, and God bless. And thank you for enduring my absolutely terrible Mario 64 gameplay. Although if this was on a N64 controller, it would be a billion times worse. The Razor Kishi is a miracle. Miracle cell phone controller. Bye.